Hello, this is Steve in 4LQ. Here's the uh, operating table inside the house. K3, uh, notice down on the right hand corner we have a AC switch mounted on the shelf. Uh, this is used to turn the remote tuner off and on and the relay that I'm going to show you later. I'm running uh, Power SDRIF from an LP pan. Uh, this provides us with a panoramic view of the uh, spectrum. Uh, Tentex interior and amplifier on the left. And uh, Skytech CW speaker to the right of the K3. Uh, we run Logger 32 for logging. Uh, underground coax comes out to this uh, garage and uh, on the outside wall of the garage we have the antenna wire that comes out and goes up to the top of this tree uh, through an insulator and then it goes horizontally across the yard and uh, another insulator and then to a 50 foot telescopic push up mast and again from the top of the tree there's an insulator up there and we come down about 50 feet. The wire is 100 feet long, totally. It goes to a pair of insulators on the outside wall of this uh, little garage. And uh, we have one insulator for the antenna. It feeds through the wall. The other insulator is for some counter post wires. It also goes through the wall. And those wires are about 6 feet off the ground. As you can see, here's one going out to the uh, little metal building. Uh, one goes to that wooden post and another one goes to the fence post. Uh, two of them are cut to 40 meters, uh, but the, the system works great on all bands. And this is the uh, inside of that same garage. There's the MFJ998, a 12 volt power supply. There's your wires coming through the wall. Uh, antenna wire and counterpoise wire come down and go to this relay. The relay is AC powered and controlled by that switch I showed you inside the shack. Um, there is a heavy ground wire that goes straight down to a ground rod so that when the power is disconnected from that relay it disconnects the antenna and sends it to ground. Uh, the MFJ is not grounded at this point. That's to prevent prevent a uh, ground loop from occurring between the house and this. Um, there's an AB switch for uh, a rig out here in the uh, garage uh, that we have and there's the, the wire going out to the ground rod. Uh, sitting here next to the tuner is a little ICOM IC7000. We've been using it to set the tuner up. Fill strength meter uh, and if you look around the shack, the shop here, you can see a few uh, test equipment like scope and uh, there's some old Hammerlin receivers over on the left and some test equipment, Heathkit Apache. And uh, we're working on this. I hope to get a full-blown uh, boat anchor station set up out here pretty soon so we can come out and use the boat anchors to heat the place. <laughs> Uh, it is insulated and heated, so it makes a pretty nice workshop, actually. 73s.